Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's lesson. Uh, uh, this is a French explorer lesson, and we are going to key in on Etienne Brule, the first European explorer of Wisconsin. Well, that is one question that we don't have a great answer for, but we're going to explore and talk about Mr. Etienne Brule today. Um, Etienne was born in France in 1592 and had made his way by the age of 16 to the New World, um, also known as New France, if you were French. And what can I tell you about Etienne? Um, he made an impact on the governor of the times, and Champlain is the gentleman who we know or hear about Brule um, the most. Champlain sent him out on several missions, and here's what made Etienne special. He uh, spent a great deal of time living with the Huron indigenous peoples, the Huron Indians. He knew their language. He understood their customs and their habits. Um, and so he was sent by the French out with the Huron to um, explore new lands, meet new people, and report what he had found. There's a bell. Uh, so at any rate... Um, he would report his findings back to Champlain, and Champlain would write them down. And he did much to open the new world to other French people because he knew the language, because he knew the customs and the habits. Um, he seemed to get along very well. And we believe that he was a French explorer who saw at least four of the five Great Lakes. We know he explored Lake Ontario, Lake Erie. Lake Huron, and Lake Superior, which is why we believe he would have been the first European explorer to have visited what we now call Wisconsin. Um, take a note here of Quebec and Montreal, and you can see here along the St. Lawrence River where New France focused, this was kind of home base, and they had befriended the Huron Indians, thanks in part to Etienne. And you can see how being sent on missions or what have you, they would have traveled the Great Lakes which would have brought them, of course, to um, what we believe is now northern Wisconsin and the uh, Madeline Island, the Apostle Island area. Now, we don't have specific records because at the end, didn't keep a journal. In fact, it kind of irritated a lot of the other French folk of the time. Um, other French explorers kept methodic journals, methodic maps to pass information along. And, and that's why we have good record of this time. Etienne didn't help with that cause. So again, most of what we've learned comes through the likes of Champlain and a couple of other French officials of the time period. But he was thought of as uh, kind of wild. He lived with the native people. He knew their ways and he didn't dress as the French custom. He didn't uh, necessarily follow by the French rules. And so he was kind of a, it was kind of a love-hate relationship with old Etienne. Um, and although he traveled with the Huron at one point in time, um, he, well, he was, let me take that back. His knowledge of the language was vital. His knowledge of the area was vital to opening things up. In fact, he taught many of the Jesuit priests and other traders the Huron language, and that allowed them to go into the interior of the New World and to set up trading posts and missions and the like. But unfortunately, uh, he had been captured with a band of Huron peoples by the Seneca, and he escaped that. But when he came back, his Huron uh, brethren thought that he had betrayed them. And unfortunately, he met his end at the hands of those. And um, it was pretty nasty. In fact, they, there's record that he was consumed by those Huron folk as well. So um, that being said, he's still celebrated and known as uh, probably the first French explorer to travel much of the Great Lakes and what we today call Wisconsin. So I'll have a few questions for you to answer and think about um, from Brule, and I hope you're having a great day, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.